Okay, before I start, do I look like a Ghostbuster? If I put sunglasses on, I'd look like I was from Top Gun. Tom Cruise, better watch out. Hello everybody, long time no see. And I mean, this time has actually been a very long time. I think it's been a year, has it been a year? Either way, it's been too long and I thought today would be a good day for a little sit down, catch up, chat, because a lot has happened since I last made a video. Like, a lot. First things first, I have moved again. I think in the last two years I have moved, no, in the last three years I've moved house three or four times and then in the last two years I've moved house three times but this time I have moved cross country. <laughs> Speaking of new beginnings though, if you are new here, I'm Becca, nice to meet you. I make chatty videos and I would love to have you here. So please do like and subscribe and that's right. I have left Brighton. Um, it was a very bittersweet decision. Uh, still feel like I can't talk about it properly because I get a bit emotional. <laughs> There are loads of reasons why Brighton was no longer a place that felt like home. I'm still in a city, but a much smaller city. Um, and I don't know a soul. I mean, I don't know anyone. <laughs> you know what? On one hand, it's really scary to not know anybody for miles. But on the other hand, it's actually kind of freeing. I could go out in my pajamas with my hair in a bun, no makeup on, and I, it doesn't matter because I don't know anyone. <laughs> but I am really trying to get back into the swing of going out and meeting people. I've taken up a few cool activities, which I'll talk about later. Uh, which I'm super hyped about because I think they're going to be a great way of meeting new people. But if you have any other tips of meeting new people in a completely different place, please let me know because I have no idea. No idea. Brighton was quite easy because I used to use Facebook forum thingies. Here, they're not quite so good. But I do really feel like I'm going to be super happy here and we'll see. Watch this space, I guess. Another thing I have been really focusing on recently is my skin. Long time listeners will know that my skin has always been something that I've struggled with because I'm so pale. Honestly, I'm like blue, basically. Because I'm so pale, any kind of blemish shows up and unless you've got that like proper glass perfect skin pale skin is a nightmare to work with <laughs> i match the wall but yeah i've been really focusing on my skin and one thing that i have used is this brand called skin and me i do have a code that i think gets you something if you want to try it but genuinely so far i've only been using it for three weeks but so far it has been really good i think I had to briefly stop using it for two or three days because I burnt my big forehead. It's like, because it's so pale, I think it just like <laughs> absorbs everything. And it's just, it was, it was red. It was so red. I will let you know a bit more when I've used it for a longer period of time, but it's so easy. And I think for someone who's really lazy, <laughs> like me, where I don't like having a really long skincare routine, this is perfect because you just use the little like twisty thing and you put that on every evening and they send it to you and you don't have to worry about anything else. And I think that's super easy for someone like me who doesn't want to faff with loads of different things. But generally my skin does feel clearer, healthier, touch wood because I'm paranoid. It's nice to be able to go outside without makeup and not feel like I've got blemishes all over my face. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think this is the weird thing with acne. If I saw someone with acne, I probably wouldn't even register it, but because it's on my face, I'm registering it. Doesn't make any sense, but 
here we are. I think that's like a lot of insecurities. You wouldn't notice someone else's, but you notice yours. Another big focus for me is being able to get into new hobbies and also nurture existing hobbies. And I think this has been really good for my mental health because I am always someone that needs a bigger purpose for things. And I don't think that's, firstly, I don't think that's sustainable. And I also don't think that's very healthy. Um, if we're always doing something for a reason, we never actually get to fully enjoy it. So I've been trying to learn how to crochet, failing, by the way, my friends keep laughing at me because I don't do it for longer than like 20 minutes because I get so confused. So again, any recommendations for crochet, let me know, because I want to make a vest. But yeah, I've got back into reading. I've also taken up some new hobbies like climbing. I am obsessed with it. And that is actually one of the ways that I'm hoping to meet some new people. Um, still not very good. This, I need to build this general muscle human that I live in because not very strong, but I'm hoping that climbing will help me meet people because the climbing community, for anybody that doesn't know, is so lovely and so welcoming. And it really doesn't matter if you've never climbed before or you're a super experienced climber. Um, you can just go meet people, chat. It's more social than anything else. Um, and the climbing is almost secondary, which is strange but I just think it's a great way of meeting new people. Oh, and I've been gardening too. In this new place, there's a garden and I love it. And I want to talk to you a bit more about gardening because it's something I love. I think anything that involves getting down and dirty, anything involves my hands, a bit of dirt, a bit of mud, getting down and rustling in the ground. I don't know why I'm still talking about this, but I love it and I really love gardening. So I would love to show you a bit of like a garden transformation at some point because it's so fun. And I think if you can get out there and get out into nature, whether that's a garden or an allotment, or if you don't have a garden, befriend a neighbor who has a garden who might need some help. It's so good for your brain, especially while the weather's nice. Although in England, you never know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> get a raincoat do some rainy gardening. I'm sure that's also fun. And while we are on the note of mental health, health subject, I've also got really into yoga and fitness again, which is so much fun. Um, in Brighton, I had this amazing coach who I miss a lot, um, who reshaped my idea of movement and what it meant to be fit and how functional fitness is actually more important than fitness for aesthetic. And it's completely changed the way I look at it and it's so freeing. And I can't wait to find somewhere similar here because yeah, it's just, it's just been so good to feel excited about fitness. Like it's not this restrictive thing that you have to do at 6 a.m. at the gym. I don't know if you can hear the seagulls. I promise I'm not in Brighton, <laughs> but there are seagulls here too. So make a little guess, where am I? <laughs> but yeah, so yoga and fitness have been a great way of de-stressing and like recentering myself and grounding myself. They've just been great. And I've always been really interested in yoga and movement, but this is a whole new level and I, I'm just so excited to see what my body can achieve over time because I am still very new in this kind of movement journey. So we'll see, I'll, I'll keep you posted. And I think along the lines of nutrition and fitness, I've learned, which seems like something that's very obvious, but it hasn't been obvious to me, is that if you don't fuel your body properly, you can't do as much and you can't look after yourself. If you're trying to work your body on six, 700 calories a day, it's not gonna work. You, your brain literally functions on glucose, which you get from food. So not only is your cognitive ability gonna be rock bottom if you're not eating, but also your physical body is going to be 
lethargic. It's going to be just a bit, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's going to be like a dinosaur in an asteroid. Too soon. Too soon. Fuel your body, for God's sake, because I wasn't and I felt like literal poop. I just, it, I, I think fueling my body has been one of the most beneficial things ever, ever, because I feel like I can think more clearly, I can move, I'm less tired, all of this stuff. And I have really been focusing on that recently and it's been so helpful, so helpful. But again, I'm new to it. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments because I really, really, really want to know. I don't know why I suddenly did that, but that was quite cool. Oh, and nearly forgot to mention in this little life update, I have got two new tattoos as well. I've got one on my foot and one on my inner ankle. One is for Brighton. I got the bandstand just as like a little, I love Brighton so much, I don't want to leave, but I have to leave. So I put it on my skin forever, obviously, because that's what people do. And then the one on my foot, I got each of my family members to draw a circle and I piled them on top of each other. Um, and it's quite nice because sometimes the circles are touching and they're all together and sometimes they drift out a bit. And it just means that no matter where we are, we're really together and it's just like the circle of life kind of thing. And I really, really love it. I also like the placement of the foot one because I spend a lot of my time barefoot so I can see it all of the time. And before you ask, because everybody asks this question, did it hurt? And the answer is no, but I have a really high pain threshold. I don't think I ever experienced pain during a time. I mean, obviously it, it doesn't feel like a feather caressing you, but it doesn't hurt in the way that people say it hurts, at least not for me, but I do have a really high pain threshold. So don't take my word for it because so yeah, that has been a little bit about where I've been, what I've been doing. I know I haven't gone into great detail, but I really wanna make more sit down chatty videos. So if you have any questions about where I've been in the last year, please do drop them in the comments and let me know what you wanna know. This was just a little bit of a brain dump of where I've been, what I've been doing. Um, but I would also love to hear from you. What have you been doing? How have you changed in the last year? Um, let me know because I have genuinely missed you guys uh, and you're all wonderful. So please let me know in the comments how you've been um, along with anything you wanna see from me because I am back, baby, she says again for the 10th time. <laughs> but really, I'm back. I really enjoy talking to you and I can't wait to have more sit down chatty videos. And yeah, that's it from me. If you're new here, please like and subscribe because that's what people say. You don't have to. I don't want to hold you against your will here. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> Thank you so much guys. Have a really good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. End of credits fam, we are back, we are back with a dead leg. <laughs> oh, my leg is so numb. Oh, goodness. But end of credits fam, how have you been? I am in my new home. I don't know if you can hear the tree rustling. Oh, it is beautiful and I can't wait to show you more and a little sneak peek, a little sneak peek things at the end of videos. So stay tuned for that. And please let me know if you're part of the End of Credits fam and let me know how you're doing too, because I really want to know and I've missed you a lot. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, End of Credits fam. And hello, I'm back. <laughs>